Hi, it's Kimberly Bates with Evaluator Group. We are here in Los Angeles in the Grammy Theater, very impressive, at KubeCon. There we go. And I'm specifically here with Tom Leiden, who's the VP of Marketing with Kasten. And we are at the Cloud Native Data Management Day. You got your t-shirt there? Yeah, there we go. Um, and so first of all, what is Cloud Native Data Management? So Cloud Native Data Management Day is really a community event where we're trying to bring together uh, users, vendors, people with a certain interest, people who are planning to adopt Cloud Native um, skills. And we're really trying to get everybody together to learn about available technologies, best practices, user experience, customer case studies. Great. And um, hey, folks, there's a great video or multiple videos that you're going to stream that we had from the panel. So I, I did a panel with some great people that we put together. Um, they're developers. They were people that are practitioner people and people that have been in the business forever and ever. So what are you trying to achieve with this organization? I mean, we've got a whole lot of people in it that are involved, vendors. Here, there you get the flash up back there. Um, what are you trying to achieve with this organization? So really what we're trying to achieve is a community, first of all. So what we've learned in this cloud na native and Kubernetes space is that the shift towards cloud native and Kubernetes takes a little bit more time for most people than what we saw 10 years ago or longer uh, with VMs, which was fairly simple because it was the same thing as using real servers, but then just virtual. So now it really affects uh, or in, it includes using a lot of different tools, new technologies, uh, different architectures, uh, different uh, ways of developing. Uh, think of um, the CI CD pipelines, for example. So it's really a big shift that we're seeing. And what we are hearing from the industry is that people are looking to learn. They're looking to learn from each other. They're looking to learn new technologies. And we're trying to provide a safe community, an inclusive community, where people from all backgrounds are welcome uh, to learn, to share, to talk to each other. And I think today was really a great example of that full mix that we're seeing of people being here. Because your panel, for example, was quite technical, because you had a very technical um, audience there in, in your panel. The next panel was really more about um, the DevRel role and, and, and how we all come together as a community. So that was super interesting as well. And then, honestly, the third panel that we had was even more technical than <laughs> yours. But well, they were all arguing about VMs and containers, exactly. so there you go. Yeah, that, that, yeah and, and that's where I got lost a little bit. <laughs> but it was really interesting to see. And that is really the point of, of, of this community, right? People will not always find everything useful, but it will al always be something useful for everyone. Yeah. So what I'd like to also bring up is that Kasten did launch a, train, a free education, some free education, specifically really targeted, I believe, to the data guys, the data storage guys, right? Um, I wouldn't fully agree to that. So we're trying in the future to, to add more data-focused um, learning um, paths. But at this point, we're really trying to uh, make it available for everybody getting started on Kubernetes. So the we just launched this two weeks ago. We have uh, a good number of labs available. And those labs are about learning to install Kubernetes, learning to install a couple of applications of Kuber uh, on Kubernetes, um, and then learning some best practices with respect to uh, backup, uh, recovery, mobility. In the future, we're planning to add more tracks with respect to specific applications. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're, um, we're also uh, planning, that is planned for Q1 and really interesting for some people, uh, we're planning to help people getting certified uh, for Kubernetes. So we're going to provide some hands-on labs. And that is really, I think, what um, makes us different from any other offer on the market right now. Our uh, training courses are all about being hands-on. It's really labs. So we do have videos, we have blogs, but the key, the essence of what we're offering is really hands-on labs where you're actually put in command line and you're putting in code and you're learning Kubernetes the way how people are using Kubernetes in the real world. Well, that's awesome. And there's also some other tools that we have. We just launched a series of technical white papers on uh, everything about containers. So come from the business side of the house as well as kind of breaking down the pieces that are in there. So um, you may want to take a look at that. So combination of your hands-on and a little bit of our material. There we go. So we got it. So Tom, thank you very much. I appreciate it taking the time. One more thing? One more thing I would like to add. I'm very grateful to have Evaluator Group as one of our media sponsors because I think it's very important for the community to see research folks to be involved as well. So that kind of makes the community complete. Thank you. And really, thank you for asking us to join you.